Hi, good afternoon. I'd like to welcome you to Palm Praise 2. I do thank you for tuning in and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this afternoon. Now we are going to get right back into African American poetry. Right now we are on the uh, second poem in the book here on Poem Praise 2. And this is George Moses Horton, myself. Now, Joe George, excuse me, Moses Horton, uh, the time period is 1797 to 1894. Now, for him, born a slave in North Carolina, Horton became the first black American to use verse to argue directly against slavery. His slaveholders gave him unusual freedom to develop as a writer. He often earned money by writing love poems for young men who wanted to woo their favorite lady friends. At the same time, he wrote poems opposing slavery. Eventually, he published three books of poetry. In this poem, Horton never mentions slavery and racism. But they are surely the main factors that prevent him from expressing himself freely. And myself goes like this. I'll show you a picture before I go. There is the actual picture of myself. Uh, the picture for before was this one. So let us go ahead and go into myself. I feel myself in need of the inspiring strains of ancient lore. My heart to lift, my empty mind to feed, and all the world explore. I know that I am old and never can recover what is past. But for the future, May some light unfold and soar from age's blast. I feel resolved to try. My wish to prove, my calling to pursue, or mount up from the earth into the sky to show what heaven can do. My genius from a boy, has fluttered like a bird within my heart, but could not thus confine her powers employ, impatient to depart. She likes a restless bird, would spread her wings, her power to be unfurled, and let her songs be loudly heard and dart from world to world. Lore is history, blast, unhappy. For the meanings. that is at the bottom. And that does complete this second poem, Myself. Stay tuned to Poem Praise 2 for the third poem that's going to be coming up, just to give you a preview, is Songs for the People.
Francis Allen Watkins Harper. During the time period 1825 to 1911. So till next time, be well, take care, and peace and blessings be upon you and your family this day. Okay? Later, y'all.